since the beginning of mankind, we've looked to the stars in awe and wondered what goes on outside our little blue planet. Astronomers have tried to make sense of it all for thousands of years. Are we alone? Is there other life out there? Do the stars have actual meaning and direction for mankind to the code? Space is truly the final frontier and someday surely mankind will venture off and find a new home. There's still so much to learn as we come ever closer to making sense of it all, but for today, we can continue to let our minds wander as to what lies out in the abyss. There are, however, things of astronomical origins that most don't know that will make you question your existence. So, take a seat and relax while we cover the top 10 things you didn't know about space. Before the video begins, take a moment to subscribe and turn on notifications, or you know, don't, and not be cool. Number 10. The North Star As a guide to travelers for thousands of years, the North Star has always been a fixed point for man to look to the stars and know the direction he needs to go, but it won't be that way forever. The Earth goes through a process known as precession every 25,000 years and basically means Earth's axis, over a long period of time, moves, tracing out the shape of a cone. In another 13,000 years, Polaris will not be the North Star anymore and will take some 26,000 years for it to go back to where it is today. Number 9. Saturn's Unique Moon Lapidus, one of Saturn's 62 moons, is a unique and interesting entity. Having a distinctive two-tone color that no other moon in our entire solar system possesses, Lapidus is unique in every way. Its color is a direct effect of where it's positioned relative to all other moons of Saturn. It turns out that Lapidus is far outside of Saturn's rings, which puts it in direct contact with passing space debris. It has been struck so much that one side is covered by a dark area. The best description of the space rock would be to say, Lapidus looks like a dirty snowball. Furthermore, BB, another one of Saturn's moons farther out, rotates clockwise around Saturn and emits a steady stream of particles. It explains why only one side of Lapidus gets hit. Since Lapidus revolves counterclockwise and Phoebe clockwise, when they revolve around each other, Phoebe can only hit on one side of Lapidus due to the opposite rotations. Number 8. Jupiter's Red Spot The famous red spot, otherwise known as a superstorm, has been steadily decreasing in size for the past few decades. When first observed, Jupiter's red spot could comfortably fit through the Earth into it, but as of more recently, this famous spot can now fit only one-third of its original capacity. Strangely enough, as the storm shrinks in width, it's actually gaining size and length. Scientists have been stumped as to why this is occurring, but have theorized that it may have something to do with the surrounding area. Potential alterations in the direction or location of the jet streams could have resulted in this strange event. Number 7. Cold Welding A phenomena of space, cold welding is when two pieces of the same material come in contact with one another and fuse together. The atoms of both metals have no way of telling that they're two separate pieces, so when they come in contact with one another, they combine into one solid piece. This process can occur on Earth due to air and water separating the pieces on the atomic level. The effect shows implications that can be used in future spacecraft building and construction in the vacuum of space. Number 6. The Sun's Mass The giver and taker of life, this star has allowed our solar system to exist and our Earth to evolve for the perfect conditions to support life. The Sun accounts for 99% of our solar system's mass, allowing it to dominate all the planets gravitationally. Our Sun is known as a G-type main sequence star, meaning that every second it fuses 600 million tons of hydrogen and helium, converting around 4 million tons of matter to energy as the byproduct. When the sun finally dies out, it will destroy the Earth entirely, but that's 5 billion years from now, so don't sweat it. Number 5. Footprints on the Moon When the Apollo astronauts first stepped out of the spacecraft and touched the moon's surface on July 20, 1969, 650 million people from all around the world were watching. It was as Neil Armstrong said, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Their footprints will remain on the surface of the moon for at least 100,000 years, due to the moon not having an atmosphere. No wind or water to erase their tracks, Neil Armstrong and his crew will have an impact on history like no other. These footprints will, however, be impacted by the dynamic environment of the moon and constantly be bombarded by micrometeorites, which will destroy them very, very slowly. Number 4. Intoxicating Clouds 
When studying a giant cloud of gas at the center of the Milky Way in 2009, scientists made a discovery that would shock them to the core. This cloud was packed with a chemical known as ethyl formate, which has some interesting properties. It's responsible for giving raspberries their unique taste and creating the smell of rum. Another nearby region is also notable as being full of ethyl alcohol, the type we use to make liquor. It contains enough alcohol to provide every person on Earth with 300,000 pints of beer per day for the next billion years. Although, if bottled at the source, the alcohol content would be less than 1%, but with all the other harsh chemicals present in the cloud, it would definitely leave a terrible headache the next day. Number 3. Neutron Star Known to be one of the densest objects in the universe, the neutron star comes from the collapsed core of a supergiant star. During the collapse, protons and electrons of the star become superheated and melt into each other forming neutrons. For scale reference, a teaspoon of a neutron star would weigh over a trillion kilograms or more than the entire world's population combined. To compare the density of the star to something relative, the whole mass of humanity would have to be squeezed into a sugar cube sized object. Number 2. Spacesuit Disaster Although it has been presented in movies and shows that if a spacesuit gets punctured or broken, the person will immediately blow up or implode, this is simply not true. If a spacesuit were to get damaged and allow the outside environment in, the user would technically have a few short minutes to live. Around the 10 second mark, you would lose consciousness due to the lower pressure of the vacuum of space which would begin to make your blood literally boil along with every other bodily fluid. Gas bubbles would start to form from the boiling and you'd begin to swell. Two minutes without oxygen is deadly, but considering you'd be in a distressed state throughout the experience, it's safe to say that you probably wouldn't be lasting that long. For $22 million, the suit hopefully would be pretty resilient. Number 1. Jupiter's Magnetic Field The space in which a mass's magnetic field dominates is known as its magnetosphere. These regions surround planets, pulsars, and even the galaxy. Our solar system's planets all have magnetic spheres and are shaped and interacted with by the charged particles in the wind streaming from the sun. Jupiter has the largest magnetosphere in our solar system due to its outer core being composed of liquid metallic hydrogen and its moon lows volcanic eruptions. Ejecting large amounts of sulfur dioxide into space, forming a large field around the planet, lows certainly plays a major role. This monstrosity could easily fit something the size of our sun inside it and would be bigger than the moon.